Hello and welcome back to the Gazelle Gadget Lab. This is Anthony. Today we have the Motorola Droid here. We're going to do a brief unboxing and then take a look at some of the, the features on the device. So we can see a pretty simple box here from, from Verizon. Let's take this out. Here's the phone. Which I already have the battery and the, the 16 gigabyte micro SD card installed. It's pretty solid. Uh, nothing else too fancy here, just a data cable, charging cable. Uh, the charger and some quick start guide some documentation. Okay, now let's uh, let's power on the device. I'll just take a. I want to take a quick look at some size comparison compared to. I have a 3G iPhone here, just to give you guys a little size comparison. And these the the Droid is at uh, 115 by 60 by 13. So we can see. We'll take a look at the profile of it. The Droid is a. Uh, Feels a lot more solid. Weighs in at 169 grams. Feels I like I, I really like the feel on on the phone, the metal, the finish. It's pretty nice. Let's get rid of this thing. So, waiting for it to start up. There's the Droid startup sound, and then we'll unlock the thing. So this is uh, Android 2.0. So it does I had the HTC here I was playing with earlier. I did a review on. 2.0 is a it's a pretty big improvement over uh, 1.5. So let's get into uh, some of the tech specs first. So you see, I have a, this does have a five megapixel camera here, which to tell you the truth, it wasn't that great. It did have a little bit difficulty autofocusing. I'll get into the camera in a little bit. It's got a dual LED flash, uh, takes video, and then. The music it has a it has a pretty decent music player video player. Uh, in terms of battery, it's a 1400 mAh lithium ion battery. It's got 270 hours of uh, standby time. It's not not great, but it's not bad. At least you can change change the battery out. Uh, email always supports uh, Google Mail, all email, multimedia messaging, MMS, etc. Uh, in terms of connectivity, we have a uh, Bluetooth. Uh, stereo Bluetooth, uh, Wi-Fi, 3G. Uh, like I said, it has a 16 gigabyte micro SD card, micro SD card in there. Then it has GPS. It does have a 3.5 uh, stereo jack, so you can use with your standard uh, standard headphones, which is nice. It has a built-in accelerometer as well. Get the screen back on. Okay, and then. Uh, does have the ARM Cortex A8 processor, 550 megahertz, which is incredibly fast, which is nice. So now I'll show you the home screen right now. So let me just uh, zoom in a little on this thing. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, you can customize the home screen. It's got three different three different panels. This one, the other one, this one to add whatever widgets or icons you want to it. I've added YouTube. I've already been in the uh, in the Android uh, marketplace, and I've already downloaded some some apps. Some pretty there's some a lot of pretty cool stuff. It is growing. It's not as not as much as uh, the App Store, but it does have I think around like 12,000 apps now. So you can see I have I got to put a couple of toys on here. You can see there's this cool privacy, uh, the lightsaber one. It uses the accelerometer. It's pretty cool. But it really really doesn't do much. So anyway, then. Uh, you can see the the touchscreen is really nice. It's pretty it's pretty smooth, almost almost as smooth as an iPhone. It is pretty sensitive though. I notice sometimes the set, there's a so I feel it's a little bit more sensitive than a, than an iPhone is, but it is very accurate and uh, pretty well made. It is a capacitive touchscreen, just just like the iPhone is. So then uh, I'll get into uh, Let's take a look at the marketplace real quick. If you've had an Android device before, you've probably seen all these. So there's a lot of a lot of cool stuff in here. Pay and free stuff as well. So you can have games. So there's a lot of stuff in here. All games. Top free, top paid, just in. So it's pretty cool. See how, how fast it is. You can see these three. I'll explain these three keys. So this will take you back 
this is pretty much like an option key so whatever application or program you're in you can change your home key will also always take you back to the home screen and then a search key which will this will pretty much start uh, a Google search or you could uh, do it here by voice gazelle so as I said I said gazelle and it it finds us right here so we'll also, we might as well take a look at the web browser so there's a web browser I can put it in a horizontal one it's very nice you can see how it displays our, our site pretty well so then there's still no multi-touch so to zoom in and zoom out you have to double tap or you can use a little zoom key Anyway, let's get back. So it's, that's that's the web browser. Uh, other thing, we can also take a look at the the maps here. So this does have the Google Maps 2.0 with uh, with voice guided navigation. So the maps is I actually got a chance to use it. It is uh it's very nice. It actually calls out street names and everything for you. So you can take a look. You can also tell it to navigate. There's a there's an application here for your car right here, which pretty much if you get the if you get the GPS cradle, this pretty much creates a, a GPS for your car. So you can look up your contacts. You can search. You can do a voice search, navigate, and then view the map. So this is the first uh, Android phone to have this. So we should see this. Hopefully, see this update getting pushed over to other Android devices, like uh, the Hero, the HTC Tattoo as well. So, one other thing I liked on here is uh, the Facebook is pretty pretty cool. So I'm not going to log in or anything, but what it does is you can you can sync contacts from uh, your phone contacts, Facebook contacts, other social media contacts, email, everything. So if you have a uh, you can use multiple sources for contacts, which is pretty nice. And let's get back here. Some uh, some other qualities I didn't like. I can show you the the camera. So, like I said before, it, it did have some. I can grab my my Sirocco over here. What I didn't like it. it sometimes. It, the pictures look a bit blurry and they're hard to focus but they say with uh it's not it's not that bad but it's not it's not fantastic but they say with a firmware update that's uh that's fixable they say it's definitely not hardware related and uh one other thing as well there's no bluetooth file transfer as with the HTC Hero you won't be seeing that other than that, I think definitely the good outweighs the bad. You have the, the voice and the 3G coverage is excellent. Google GPS, Google integration. Uh, you can run multiple apps, multitask, the voice search. The Android marketplace is growing. Uh, multiple sources for the contacts. The, obviously the build, the solid build quality. It's a solid device. And overall just the, the Android 2.0 operating system is very smooth. So it's definitely a device I would recommend. For, uh, for anyone looking for an Android device or anyone on Verizon right now. I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. This is Anthony for the Gazelle Gadget Lab. Thanks.